guys if you're a day one subscriber welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome so I'm so excited about today's video and I know I say that in every video but I'm really excited and that's because I'm doing a first impression review on the Rihanna Fenty Beauty foundation pro filter foundation I know this tutorial is well overdue because I purchased this months ago and I said I was going to do a tutorial, but shit happens and I didn't get a chance to do it. I was going through my stash of foundations and I found it, so I decided I was going to do it now because it's, it's, it's time. It's time for me to do this. So I'm excited because I've never tried it since I purchased this. I have not used it. I just put it aside because I said I want it to be a first impression video. So I haven't tested out or anything. So pretty much this is my first impression on the product. So my first impression with the packaging, this is what the packaging looked like. I like the packaging. I feel like it's simple. It's it's simple, it's sleek, and it's cute, you know? But this is not a packaging I expected Rihanna to have. You know, she has this bad girl image, so I expected a more funkier, more, you know, sexier packaging from her. It's a nice, elegant package. And Let's see how much product you get. So you get 32 ml, which is 1.08 fluid ounce, which this is a decent amount for the price. It comes in 40 shades, guys. I was so confused when I went on the site looking for my shade. I was like confused. I didn't know. I didn't know what color to pick. I just kind of did the process of elimination type thing to choose a color. I ordered it from Sephora online and it came within maybe four business days. So this is what it looked like. This definitely has a yellow undertone to it. Very sleek packaging. This is a glass, very strong it doesn't look like it will break easily i love that it has a pump on it i love that that's a plus for rihanna and i got it in the color 330 not sure if the colors have a name to it or it's just a number it says pro filter i guess that is supposed to kind of filter out some of the imperfections on your skin so it says to shake well before you use it so i'm gonna shake it up shake it well and i'm going to use a brush on one half of my face and i'm going to use the real technique sponge on the other half because i want to see which applies better if the brush that i normally use apply better or the sponge and I'm going to damp the sponge a little bit. So let's get started, guys. And I'm going to use my brush on this side, on the um, left-hand side of my face. So apparently this coverage is buildable you can build it up to full coverage why do i look yellow oh my gosh and it's supposed to dry to a matte finish oh Oh, guys, this, this is really yellow. 
it's really yellow but then again i can use a powder like a darker powder to control it a little bit I like how it feels on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like I have anything on. So I'm loving that. I'm just not sure about the color as yet. Wow. <laughs> From what I'm seeing, this is a foundation that you have to work really quickly with because it dries really quickly and it dries to a matte finish. You want to work quickly with this foundation. Guys, I know it looks like I'm putting on a lot, but I'm really not. I just put a little bit. This is really full coverage, I believe, because I just put a little bit and it's covering everything. I see why it's called Pro Filter because it literally is like filtering out all my imperfections. Like it's really smooth, like a filter. So working this in with the brush, what I notice is that you, if you drag it along your face, it's going to be a little bit patchy. This one you have to literally press in. When I put my foundations on, I like to literally take my time and blend. So this is like a con for me because you have to work really fast. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks patchy right there. I mean, the color is a bit yellow on me, but my undertone is yellow. So I know that if I get a powder that's a shade darker, that I can work with this. It just so far my con is that I don't like that it dries so quickly. But so far I'm loving this. I love how it gives that smooth filter effect. Now I'm gonna go in with my little technique sponge. I'm just gonna damp it a little bit guys. I'm using my rose hip oil spray. Get it a little bit moist and now I'm going to go in on this side. I probably should have used this end. What was I thinking? To be honest with you, I really don't know. I don't think the sponge is doing any justice. I don't like to do my makeup, do my foundation with the sponge. I like the good old fashioned brush. So I'm going to keep applying it. I think I like the way the brush applies this better. See, I'm really like ugh, pressing into my skin and it's still leaving, leaving like patchiness. Can you guys see? I think I'm going to finish this with my brush. Yeah, the brush is so much easier for me. And I'm just going to add a little bit more. Guys, I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I 
I'm trying. I'm trying to work with this. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm trying to do this, guys. So guys, I've been literally applying this for like a good five minutes trying to, do you see right there on my forehead, right there, that it's like I've been trying to blend and blend that? It still has patches there. Like, should I add some more or, I don't know. I'm going to add some more just to see because I don't like how that looks right there. I'm just going to add a little bit, a tiny bit. You see that drop right there on my brush? That's it. And I'm going to try to work as fast as I could blending this in. This foundation seems like it's more for someone that has oily skin because I notice like around my eye area is pretty dry because it's winter and my skin dries out in the winter time and I notice that it's kind of it's definitely caking up increasing under my eye area so I wouldn't recommend for someone that has dry skin to wear this foundation Okay, so I'm not going to blend anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my powder. I think I may contour a little bit just to get a feel of how the foundation would look if I just beat my face, a mini beat. So guys, I'm going to add my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's in the color 340. It's a shade darker or maybe a couple of shades darker than this foundation so I'm just gonna add this to bring back some life to my face because I look washed out I look dead and I look fucking ridiculous okay guys so off camera I did a little contour just a mini contour just to add some dimension to my face and I just put some concealer under my eye and the Sasha Buttercup to bake a little bit and that's about it but yeah, I see the difference. It did bring back some color to my face. Okay guys, so I'm about to wrap this video up. I just want to apologize to some of my subscribers that requested this video and it took me forever. So I'm sorry about that, but you know, I totally forgot all about it. It's not a bad foundation. I would re recommend that you buy it, but make sure you find a shade that's closest to your skin. If you have really dry skin, I would suggest that you moisturize your skin before putting this foundation on because it once it dries, it's drying and it's staying in place. So, and work really quickly while you're putting this on. I would put sections at a time. That way you can work faster with it because it will dry out. And then if you try to blend it while it's dry, it's gonna get a little bit patchy. So. Those are the only issues I have with it, that it dries very quickly. It can get patchy if you have dry patches on your skin or if you just have overall dry skin. And I don't know if it's hard to choose a shade because I chose mine online. And I think I did pretty good for me choosing it online. So I would suggest that you go in store, have one of the workers match you. That way you get, you know, close color to your complexion. And that's my only issue with this foundation. But I like that it's full coverage. I like that it really covers your, in, your flaws, your imperfections. And I love the packaging. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you would like to see more first impressions videos, just please hit that subscribe button right there and hit that notification bell down here if you'd like to see more videos that i upload and get them as soon as i upload them so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video Mwah.